Join celebrity tastemakers beyond the bar as we mix this week's liquid recipe for the sip. Hi, I'm Amanda Victoria, taking you beyond the bar at the Flatiron Room in New York City with Chef Johnny Uzzini, introducing you to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. The Scotch Malt Whiskey Society partners with over 130 of the best distilleries in Scotland and beyond. I like to say that Scotch is the fine wine of the spirits world. When I taste Scotch, every time I've talked to somebody, I learn something about the way to taste or the way to smell. Start the spirit right around your waistline and slowly walk it up to your nose. Breath in, breath out until you start to first smell the spirit. I smell caramelized honey. I'm getting a bit of toffee and also coffee. Mm. Let's go ahead and give it a tiny little sip and hold it on your palate for just a second. You actually feel the smokiness, the peatiness, but then you get all these secondary and tertiary flavors start to open up, but almost there's a, a fine sweetness at the end for me. Everything that the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society does is bottled at cast strength. Mm. So we're single malt, single cask, and bottled at cast strength. Cast strength means directly from the cask, not watered down. Exactly. We do that to retain all of those beautiful flavors that the cask provides. Interesting. What would this pair with in terms of your specialty? I'm on a track to build a chocolate factory. Yes. And through the process of that, I'm learning so much about coffee, about cacao, about the process to get to the point from a raw bean through fermenting, through drying, through roasting, and then developing those flavors. Each one of my chocolates are also single origin, coming from one specific area of the world, whether nice. it's Jamaica or Vietnam or Ecuador. But what really is resonating with me right now is my chocolate that I made from Tanzania. I had those same kind of caramel notes, those same Delicious. kind of toffee notes. What you described is the process from bean to bar. Exactly. <laughs> this is the Tanzania. This is a dark milk chocolate, 50% cacao. So take a little bit okay. and I kind of just let it melt in your mouth and chew through it. And all of a sudden you'll get mm. primary flavors, secondary flavors, and then it starts to open up. That's absolutely exquisite. If you have a certain range of flavors within a scotch, you could find a food that has very similar range and they, nice. they'll really naturally just work well together organically. And this specific bottle here pairs really nicely with your chocolate because it has that peaty smokiness to it. This bottle specifically from Isla is really influenced by the sea. So that salinity in there is going to work beautifully with this chocolate. Thank you, Johnny. To learn more about the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, visit celebritytastemakers.com. Until next time, I'm Amanda Victoria and here's to you.